great amount for Sri Lanka. He's on uh, Kumar Sangakkara. He's the batsman in form. Patan wayward to start with. First runs on the board. Billy Bowden once again doing duty. Not a very auspicious start for India. Patan going wayward down leg side. We've seen some movement. Patan has been uh, looking to keep the ball up. And there you are, Kumar Sangakkara. He's certainly been the batsman uh, amongst the Sri Lankans who's uh, struck it rich. But uh, he really needs to play a big innings for Sri Lanka. Quite interesting, uh, Ranjit, you were having a chat with Tom Moody this morning and he was saying we should make sure that we bat 50 overs. Yes, I think uh, that certainly is Sri Lanka's uh, first objective. They need to try and bat the 50 overs and if they do with the type of batsmen they've got, they've got attacking aggressive stroke makers. There you are, Sanat Jayasure, what a record he's had. He certainly hasn't had uh, two good innings uh, in the last two, so a big innings from him he's due and uh, the Sri Lankans certainly are hoping that this would be the chance. They need a good opening partnership. It's a start that's so crucial. Bowled out for 198 in the first game in Nagpur, then 122 in the last one. Oh, that's glorious. Nicely balanced. He's a good player on the offside. Four runs to end the first over. It's nine without loss. Again, he's got an offside field and the length was good, but the line was far too wide. Easy picking those for Sangakkara. All what the Sri Lankans need to do is to put these bad balls away. Anything where there is width. And just look at Sangakkara. Once again, getting his foot across and uh, stroking it into the gap. He's bowling to his strengths. But time to continue. And Jai Surya on strike. Finds the edge. This is the kind of good fortune that you need when you're going through a bad patch. Gets a boundary. Yes, the Sri Lankan certainly would take anything at this stage. They need a little bit of uh, good fortune. The ball went in the air for a while, but wide off the man at slip. And Jai Surya picking up four runs. Sri Lanka just need this luck. It's in the air, just wide of the man, Murli Karthik. Wasn't time too well either. Second time lucky. Yes, they had a man placed for that catch at um, that short extra cover position and uh, a slow delivery. So playing a little too early. Again, not much movement at that front foot. The ball going in there just above the fingers of uh, Murli Karthik. Wonderful city here. Jaipur, some great sights. And Sri Lanka off to a good start. That's a lot straighter. That's the kind of line Ajit Agarkar and Irfan Patan need to bowl. We've seen sudden movement uh, in the last uh, couple of deliveries from both uh, Patan and Agarkar. inside edge and uh, maybe wrapping him outside off stump. Sri Lankans as long as they could get long strides in they could always negate the movement which is what we haven't seen in the earlier games and that's plunged away through the offside plundered for runs. Even if he is not in form there is no margin for error. Bit of support from Rahul Dravid. But these are the dangerous signs. A little bit of width. And this man loves it. Sanajaya Surya. Important thing no half measures. Went at it, went at it very, very hard. Again, straighter. I think would have missed leg stump. Had the bowler excited. Hari Haran, the umpire. It's whenever Agaka gets the ball in line, has the batsman in some sort of trouble, pitched outside leg stamp. Oh. 
one thing's for sure, the Sri Lankans have been guilty of throwing the wickets. Saw that in Mohali with uh, Jaya Surya and Sangakara. Just get back to that just a moment. And a missed leg again. Ajit Agarkar pleading. Yes, imploring the umpire for the decision. But again, I think it may have pitched uh, outside the leg stump. Very marginally, but yes, it was outside leg stump. Very, very good decision indeed. Bleeding, bleeding. Can't get it. He's got to be fully convinced, the umpire. Good work by Hari Harin. We've seen this before from Sanajaya Surya. Inside edge and a big breakthrough. Jaya Surya's patience once again tested. Two good deliveries, both pitched on line. Had Jaya Surya in some sort of trouble. This one not very far wide. Jaya Surya looking to go for the shot. A horizontal bat, an inside edge, and out goes that off stump. 42 for one. Nine overs have been bowled. You see. Uh, they go at uh, around six runs per over, they'll reach 288. But I believe uh, any score here, 260, 260 plus, is uh, very competitive. Lovely shot. No need to run for that. He's just caressed that through the offside. And a welcome boundary here for Sri Lanka. A short extra cover feel of the captain himself positioned there because sometimes Sangakara does drive the ball in the air a little bit but uh, on this occasion everything was perfect the feet was in position enough room to bring the bat down high front hand top elbow guiding the ball along very nicely played that's true a loud shout here all the Indian players going up there was a sound but I think again Umpire Hariharan might have made a very, very good decision. Definite sound. Thought the appeal from the slip cordon was a little half-hearted. And Ajit Agarkar went up straight away. And a very good decision, I think, because the bat might have just hit the pad. You see the snicker meter down. Watch the bat. It's just kissing the pad there on the way and that's why it's a very good decision there's a little bit of daylight as the ball goes past the bat that's in the air past square leg and into the boundary nicely clipped off his legs there by Sangakara wasn't too far down the leg side but yet Sangakara playing with the angle from leg stump. The ball just angling into him and uh, he played it very nicely. Oh, and a big appeal and he's given him. J.P. Yadav picks up a wicket. Marvin Atapattu's poor run continues. He's created the pressure by bowling it tight. Marvin Atapattu was looking to run into third man, gets the outside edge. Dhoni standing up to the stumps. Takes a very good catch indeed. And wickets coming at the right time for India. Very, very good catch. And Dhoni was delighted. So is Yadav. He is playing a vital part in this Indian team. Marvin Atapattu has to go. He's gone for 17. It's 77 for two. Oh, that's gone through. And to Will beat Patan and reach the boundary. So Jai Vardhana getting off the mark. Despite the slip being there, Jai Vardhana just turning the face there. Just enough for to uh, get in between the wicketkeeper and the uh, only slip which, which is standing fairly wide. And um, also playing with soft hands so the ball really didn't carry or didn't go in the air as much. He has to hurry, sent back. Ooh wrong side of the stumps Harbhajan 
That was very good fielding from Dravid. Quickly across to his right. So important as a bowler that you uh, get back behind the stumps quickly once you bowl. Might have been a different story then. That was almost suicidal. There's certainly no need whatsoever for the Sri Lankans. And as you see, Harbhajan Singh standing in front of the wicket rather than behind it. Certainly had plenty of time to do that. As well played. Just waited on it and used the pace. Top spinner from Harbhajan. Nicely guided away on the offside by Jay Vardana. Well, that single brings up a, a half century for Sangakara. It's a good effort by the left-hander. Concentrated hard, five boundaries uh, punctuating that innings. He's a batsman in form for Sri Lanka, and uh, it's uh, been a good innings. 79 balls um, to pick up his 50. Place on a hill in the center of town. All old walls surrounding the city Jacob Fort in the air but that's played into the gap as well that is a welcome boundary for Sri Lanka catch it was a shout from uh, Murli Karthik but uh, Sangakara was well in control made sure he chipped it over Rahul Dravid just nicely played away using his wrist the Karthik for a moment thought he had his man. What happened there? Sudden rush of blood for Jay Vardhane. Maybe got an inside edge onto it, but he's gotten away with it. It certainly was a chance. Not the easiest uh, to hold on to when the ball comes between uh, the batsman, batsman and his pads. That's how dangerous he can be. This is going to be four. Played very late by Jay Vardhane. He's a difficult man to keep down once he gets set and he's in this mood. He'll take a few risks. He's just gotten away with one. Take a look at this shot. He's played a couple of those. Just a neat deflections. Five on the leg, four on the off. Just four inside the circle. He's made some room. Jayavardhan has played a fabulous shot. That's four. One bounce and out of the ground. Made room for himself. Also brings up the 150. This man is in a very, very aggressive mood. Loves to play that shot. And certainly he enjoys playing it. Just giving himself room. Playing inside out. He knows he's in control. He knows he's playing a left arm spinner. He's very street smart as a cricketer, especially with his bowling. In the air and he's put down. Just what we were talking about. Almost had it. That was Rahul Dravid. I think a bit preoccupied with proceedings. He should have pouched this one with ease. This pair has been uh, playing the ball well in the air, but on this occasion, Jayabodhana lost control and uh, Shevag is disappointed quite naturally that's the big one and it's got the distance Billy shoots up in the air six for Jay Vardana. in fact to Sangakara it's moved on to 75 now first six of the match Getting down on his knees to get the elevation. 169 for two. Let's see uh, steady run rate being maintained by Sri Lanka at the moment. Jay Vardhana has played extremely well. That's a good half century he's reached with that single. And it's come in good time of just 56 balls. Quality player. timed the ball beautifully today Sangakara 
playing some lovely shots now. Really launched himself into that drive. Placement. Very good here. His seventh boundary, the transfer of body weight was the key. Backward point, short extra cover, open spaces for him to pick the gaps. Again, the placement superb. He'll get a boundary for this. Just waited that bit long on the shot, Sagakara. He was with on offer. These are good boundaries Sri Lanka are getting at this stage. Well, one thing stands out is his patience in this innings. He's waited for the loose deliveries. Normally a free-flowing player. That shot and it's got the treatment. Second six for Tsangakara. Ample time there to rock back onto the back foot. And moving into the 90s. Enough time to pick the gap. But he prefers to clear the fence. That's it. 400 for Sangakara, 200 up for Sri Lanka. Eight fours and two sixes, and a very important one as far as Sri Lanka are concerned. The first two matches, there was a major batting collapse, and here, just testing time for the Sri Lankans, trailing 0 2. They had to put up a big score, winning the toss, deciding to bat, and Sangakara sent up the order to open the innings, has made a magnificent hundred. And he will look to carry on, bat till the very end. Taken the mid on fielder now back to long on. Split it in the air and a fielder getting under it. He's taken it. Sevag has taken a good catch. There wasn't much time to judge that one, but very, very important wicket from India's perspective. And Jayavardhane, very flamboyant inning comes to an end. The Indians no doubt are overjoyed. They needed a wicket at this stage. The Sri Lankans were going, cruising away. Shortest delivery, Javadhan looking to innovate. Slicing it, in fact, giving it direction. Sevak, a very good catch at the end. He picked it up and uh, took it cleanly. And the Indians certainly must be very pleased with themselves as uh, this partnership has been split. Javadhan has fine innings. It was a very good innings indeed from him. 71, Sri Lanka lose their third wicket for 228. He split it in the air. Can he get under it? Sevag, no, he can't. And he's missed it altogether. He's just overrun it. Four to Sri Lanka. It's 237 for three. He's got it. He's got his man, Sevag. He's wearing it a bit. Umpire thought about it, Hari Haran then judging that it may have hit leg strum. Initial reaction was it may have missed leg. But Sevag has got his man. Interesting, the ball pitched on about middle end leg and the ball uh, probably spun sufficiently to have missed uh, leg stump. May have gone down leg stump. I think uh, Dilshan very unlucky on that occasion but um, the umpire has ruled him out. So he has to go. So Sevag has struck. Shan goes very unluckily. 4-3 LBW to Sevak. Sri Lanka 2.40 for 4. He has hammered that past it fun to the straight field. That will be 4. That is a good hit by Maruf. Straight down the ground. Long off, long on. Very wide indeed. And he's taken advantage of it. Smaru picked the slow delivery very quickly, went to the back foot, waited for it and hit it with a flat bat very, very firmly. Strong man, Maharuf. Strong indeed, Ranjit. They had to hit the bottom of the bat and yet carried for four. This time he's gone wide to mid wicket. That length is not going to do. You've got to be more block holish. Another four for 
Maruf and the 250 comes up for Sri Lanka. Maruf doing his job to perfection. Not much uh, margin for error for it from Patan. He's looking at the block hole, but um, more of a half volley length than Maruf uh, pummeling it away wide off the long horn. Using the long handle to advantage. It's a beautiful batting wicket and that has been bludgeoned. Four more. Slightly short. Four more to end the over. 15 off it. One to go. It's 282 for four. So the Sri Lankans ideally would want something like 300. It's really the benchmark. And uh, it's interesting to see as to how they would fare in this over. In the air and he's hit it right into the stands. That is six. That is an amazing hit by Maruf. He's flat batted it over the bowler's head for six. Yes, a huge heap by Maruf here. Stowing what a powerful strike with the ball. He is. It was short. He sort of stood on his toes and hit it right over long on. A very fine strike. Well done, well fielded. Ajit Agarkar is bowled a dot ball. Last ball of the innings. Six to end it, Ranjit. Yes, and I think Sangakkar is his uh, objective is twofold. He'll have to get a six, and also that would mean that um, he's battered throughout the 50 overs. He's got four, if not six. That is a tremendous finish by Sri Lanka and Sangakkara. 298 for four after 50, and that will require some doing to overhaul by the Indians. A contented duo leaves the field. Wonderful partnership these two have put on. 58 of just 28 balls. That's what Sri Lanka did in the first session. Won the toss, batted first, and batted quite superbly. The man at the top there 138 from 147 balls kumar sangakara steered uh, the sri lankan innings uh, beautifully he got good support from jay vardana who made 71 maruf played some uh, good shots towards the end a couple of big hits for sixes 33 from just 16 balls in the end 298 for four which means uh, that it'll take some getting the indian bowling uh, for the first time in this one day series uh, Took a bit of a hammering. Irfan Pathan, none for 67. Agarkar going for 62. Harbhajan Singh, really the pick of the bowlers. 10 overs, none for 30. Chaminda Vas will start the proceedings for Sri Lanka. And one thing you can be rest assured, these first 15 overs crucial. India knows this pitch will slow up later on, so they could see some shots here. Vas on the way. Shots for sure. Starts off in blazing style, Seba. That wasn't all that bad a delivery, but struck well on the up. Struck well and struck into the gap. What a start for India. Just a minimal footwork. But then the bat coming down to meet the ball at the correct point. And time to perfection. They've experimented with the number three position. Kandulka off the mark with a couple. Goes past 11,000 runs as an opening batsman in one day internationals. Don't forget he has a decent test record as well. The crowd absolutely roared when uh, Tendulkar got his uh, first run. They expect big things from him. Right now, Billy Bowden has uh, given Chamindavas a warning for running on the pitch and, uh, his uh, follow through step getting into that danger area and umpire Billy Bowden says that's the first warning informs all those who need to know you get one more that's the most edge and taken outside edge Tendulkar went after it Vaas strikes in the first over and a magnificent catch by Kumar Sangakkara. Don't forget, he batted right through the innings. This is a magnificent diving effort and a big blow for India. 
Deafening silence as the master goes. Chase that one outside the off stump, and that was going in the gap between uh, Slip and Sangakara. And you couldn't keep him out of the action. A brilliant catch. So Tendulka goes for two, and the score seven for one wicket. He goes for the big one. He's a powerful striker of the ball. That's six for Dodi. Got the opportunity to free his arms. And boy, have a look at this. That white right ball is flying. Down the track. I think that's the reason why it's not easy to get a leg before wicket. He was chipping down the track, Tony. It'd be interesting to see where the ball pitches. Going down the leg side. He goes for it again. The result the same. Second six for Dodi. He was waiting for that. That's where he likes it. Didn't really get all of it as much as the earlier one, but still hit with tremendous power. Chipped in the air, just clears it all. Three runs taken, but just for a moment, Sevak would have had his heart in his mouth. Six overs gone, 34 for one. Farbis Maharuf. Need to try and keep this quiet as the Indians are making some headway. Sri Lankans have runs on the board, but um, they can't be complacent. This pitch is playing well. Yes, is the call and is a misfield. He's putting pressure on the fielder. Virendra Sevak struck it firmly and called immediately. Could have been a tight single, but it's four. Yes, he took off for the single, was sensed that and it just took his eyes off the ball. Just keeping the eyes on the batsman as a result of it, uh, lost contact and the ball went right through him. He struck it cleanly again. He's just an amazing striker of the cricket ball. Didn't bother running and Billy's having fun and so is Dhoni. What a shot, absolute power and again, Coupled with timing, these two combined can be absolutely sensational. Just look at this shot, right in the center of the bat. There was no doubt as to where that would end up. Went up like a scud. With only three sixes in the process. Giving the charge. This is the fast outfield. Dhoni taking the Sri Lankans on. Boundary then the over. Seven overs gone. It's 49 for one. Outside the fence would have been in danger. Dhoni would love to spend another 45 minutes to an hour there. I think the whole of India would expect or hope that he would be out there. You can't keep him quiet for just more than a few balls. That's hammered down the ground. Very much a Caribbean style shot. Oh, of his delivery off the back foot. Sri Lankan brain starts getting together. They will have to come up with some options here. They're still restricted to just two men outside the ring. So the bowling will have to be precise online. Looks like it's certain they won't take power play number two straight away. Yes, I think they'll have to look at some way of picking up a wicket, maybe a spin against Dhoni. Slow delivery doesn't make a difference to Dhoni. He's having a ball. He's farting out in the middle. Nino is gone. It's 67 for one. Still looking very good. The target quite possible. 
hand, definitely possible if he can do this. There was a man at long off, but he had no chance whatsoever. And Mahendra Singh Dhoni brings up his 50. What a fine innings this has been. Splendid runs off the Sri Lankans. On that occasion, the Kishan Singh was just thrown at that delivery. It's just short, hitting it on the up. Bludgeoned it down the ground. Awesome power. That is the reverse and he's got it. Sevag is gone. It's the one that straightened from the leg stump. That's the Dusra. What Billy Bowden had to judge is had it straightened enough and not gone along with the angle down the leg side. And eventually, I think he's made the correct decision. Well, he's got the wicket. But have a look at this now. Where did this ball pitch? Pitched on leg stump straightening that would have gone on to hit the stumps. He took his time, Billy Bowden. And thought the ball had done enough to straighten and go on to hit the stump. So, once again, Sevag after being set out for 39. India 99 for 2. Full toss and he has hit it over the fence. Up, up and away. Six more to end the over. 16 gone. 109 for 2. That's done a little bit of damage to Dhoni, but he's gotten away with it. Premeditated, he was charging him. How he managed to keep that away from his stumps, God alone knows, because he could have been stumped as well. Well, he's hurt himself somewhere. I just uh, wonder if he's pulled aside uh, the lower back. Seems okay. Travis would have had a word with him. I think they've just got to calm him a bit. He doesn't have to hit every ball for six because the field restrictions are on. Just wait. That's in the air and in the gap as well. I wonder if Rahul Dravid went and told him, just play our game, don't worry. <laughs> just keep going, youngster. Really, this was against the break. Now let's take a look at this one. Against the break. Over mid on, um, over mid wicket, I beg your pardon. And then once you get it over the infield, it's four. Murli Tharan into his fifth over, bowling to Dhoni. That's four. He waited for it, let it do its thing, let it turn, took it on the top of the bounce, and just smashed it past extra cover for four. Well, this is. Uh an amazing shot because he was looking to hit it square the ball just didn't come on in the end he's just bludgeoned it between mid off and cover and see the power behind that shot legs men are bowling from round the wicket we'll take a look at it again he's gone and he is well landed in the crowd and the crowd is about 25 yards away from the boundary line. There's no messing around with this man. This one's come right out of the screws. Good position with the front foot. And bang. Ah, he would have enjoyed it. Moment he hit it, he knew it was six for the taking. That must have hurt Murli. In fact, gets to the boundary. 21 overs gone. 155 for two. It's a good example of how hard he hits the cricket ball. It struck Murli Dharan. And he nearly took his hand with uh, the ball to the boundary. It was hit so hard. Put away in style. Very, very good on loose deliveries. That's what makes him a good player, Rahul Dravid. 
plays away the good deliveries and every time he gets an opportunity he makes full use of that he's got five fielders on the offside and bowls a loose full toss around leg stump Vilhara Fernando will be the bowler Mahindra Singh Dhoni the batsman on 99 and that will be his 100 fantastic 100 coming of just 85 deliveries the quickest 100 by an Indian against Sri Lanka and coming at a very important time chasing a big target this young man is stood up a hug and a word of advice uh, from the captain he obviously wants him to go on hasn't worked up much of a sweat getting this hundred because he's hit uh, so many to the ropes and over the ropes ten fours and five sixes in the hundred yeah. Like that one. Tried to play it onto the onside. Rahul Dravid is gone. Murli Tharan has come back and he's made the important breakthrough. Yes, they've got a small window here and they'll certainly look to exploit this in a situation where things look very, very gloomy. Murli Tharan, he struck. He's the man the Sri Lankans are, have yeah. always been relying to pick up a wicket. A nice flight of delivery. Dravid looking to push at it. The ball really not coming on. A little softish and Dravid goes. India, three down for 185. Bit of field adjustment. The long off has now become long on. So the straight field long off is free. It's a free hit there for Dhoni. That's where he likes it. But he's got the long on, and there's a fielder getting under it. The ball has sailed right over him into the crowd. Take that for confidence. There is a long on. But look at this. This is the sixth six for Mahendra Singh Dhoni. No half measures for this man. There was a man placed down at long on, deep at that, and he just took the challenge. He was quite prepared to take that field on, and the ball sailed over him. That's a big hit. Enormous amount of confidence there in that shot. He took on the fielder and the bowler. Four more. Down the leg side, trying to York Dhoni, but that's the problem. There is no margin of error. Down the leg side, got a little bat onto it. There's no fine leg or third man. That was four the moment it touched the bat. No margin whatsoever, as you would see. Striving for that Yorker, but uh, ball straying down leg side, going full, only getting some bat. And as soon as you get bat on that, you're in business. Four more runs. He's found the gap. Slightly short. Rocked onto his back foot. He's got four more, Dhoni. Oh, this pitch certainly is unforgiving. The 200's up. And uh, that was just a trifle short. Certainly a very good delivery to any ordinary batsman. A batsman who's not in form, not in. But Dhoni, he was so quick onto the back foot. And hammered it away through the offside. Just taking it off, outside off stump. By Billy Bowden. Wanting to have a word with Dhoni. I wonder what that is all about. Running on the field? <laughs> Running on the wicket? I suspect that's what it is. But he could be asking for a runner, yes. He's been stretching a bit for quite a while once he sort of overextended himself. He's gone the straight field. There was no need to have fielders there either. He's hit the screen. That is the seventh six by Dhoni. So he equals the record of the highest number of sixes by an Indian. And Dhoni, he certainly is continuing in this way. And despite that uh, hampered leg. There's no need to have runners, Ranjit, when you can hit like that. This is an absolutely amazing inning. This is awesome hitting. What power. Beautiful follow through the bat. Yes, he's, he's struggling. It's been like a 5x display, rockets all around. Sehwag has come in to run for Dhoni. I think this was the time when he sort of split his legs much beyond those very taut and strong muscles would allow. That's when he actually started 
the problems for himself. He's bowled some good deliveries, but in between, uh, he's um, strayed. And all the Sri Lankan bowlers, in fact, have been that. They've uh, strayed, given away the boundary balls. That's four ball. Again, poor line from Bass. And he pays the price for it. Second boundary of the over. And without any risk of being taken. And just as I said, goes the bad delivery down leg side well put away by Yuvrat Singh he goes for the big one he's best time this but it's his day two runs taken and 150 to Mahendra Singh Dhoni And they say fortune favors the brave. And it certainly has been a brave man today from India's point of view. What an effort. Bowled in. It's bowled in right through the defense of Yuvraj Singh. No clue whatsoever. Pitching on the middle stump, just straightening and rattling the stumps. Just played down the wrong line. Standard off break from uh, Dilshan yeah. and uh, he pushed through the leg side with the ball is around middle stump and Dilshan is struck for Sri Lanka fourth wicket he be late but Yuvraj uh, Singh goes 18 of 24 deliveries and India now 250 for four gone over the top the sound was good and the result even better. Well, the pressure was on, but Venugopal Rao, he was up to it, getting up to the pitch of that delivery, hitting it straight over the long on boundary for six. Again, very, very firmly struck. He was not going to be kept tied down. Good use of the feet, as you would see. He hit it in the air. And if you want to guess where it lands, outside the boundary ropes. Most sixes by an Indian batsman in a one-day international. And this man is pure magic. Oh, stand and deliver. Say, if one could say that uh, he just can't move his feet, that is no problem whatsoever. Stays at one place and slams it over the long off. He says you can't hit a six if you're not balanced. <laughs> Get the single Venu Gopal Rao. Tony on 169 has a great opportunity to become the highest scorer in a one day international that is by a wicket keeper. 172 by Adam Gilchrist versus Zimbabwe Hubar 2004. Still remains the highest score by a wicket keeper. It's just three shot. And getting underneath it, but the ball clears the fence and he achieves a fantastic record, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Becomes the highest run getter in a one-day international for a wicket keeper and that takes him to 175. What sensational batting this is, even the most ardent Sri Lankan supporter would acknowledge that uh, there's nothing very much you could do under these circumstances. Clean hitting and that's once again six. Maximum for Dhoni. How do you reckon Dhoni will finish this off? Do you think he's got a six in his mind? Yes, he has a six on his mind. And that is exactly what he gets. His tenth sixer. What an innings! Magnificent innings by Mahendra Singh Dhoni. 183 not out. Of 145 balls, 15 fours, and 10 sixers, the strike rate of 126.2. This is a magical effort. Awesome batting. Oh, what an innings this has been! Oh, absolutely awesome. I really I find, would find it difficult to find words to describe this innings. But the star today.
Mahendra Singh Dhoni, 183 not out, a match winning innings coming in just 145 balls. Rahul Dravid chipping in with 28, and then Yubrad Singh and Venugopal Rao just keeping Dhoni company to see the end. 303 for 46.1 overs. There's nothing Dhoni could do wrong. The Sri Lankan bowlers, they all took a pounding. Apart from Murli Varan, who bowled very economically, 4.60 runs per over for East 10. The rest of the Sri Lankan bowling, just look at that. All of them, 7, 7, 8, 6. Lil Harafan had the 2, creating some impression.